Hello everyone, welcome back again to Plax's uh, 3D Shallow Foundation course from uh, Theory to Practice. In uh, this lesson, uh, lesson uh, 7, we are going to investigate the effect of water table on ultimate bearing capacity of foundation. So, uh, this uh, lesson is from uh, the previous lesson, uh, lesson uh, 6, and we are going to save uh, this lesson under a different name and add the water table uh, 0.5 meter below the foundation uh, and we will uh, run the analysis and uh, see the effect of water table uh, in the borehole under uh, the results of ultimate bearing capacity and uh, settlement of the foundation so uh, we go to lesson uh, 6 and we open uh, lesson 6 plexus file so we will uh, save this project under a different name save project as um, we go to plexus 3d shallow foundation course and we save this title for lesson seven copy here paste in here uh, save so uh, the only thing we do in here we go to soil double click on the borehole so uh, in here we don't have any water table and we, uh, we uh, put it to zero so it is uh, the water level is at the bottom of the uh, borehole so it is not considered in the calculation so right now we will uh, put us 9.5 which is 0 0.5 meter below the uh, below the uh, bottom of the foundation we click ok we go to stage uh, construction uh, these stages also are uh, same as before uh, but we have to select a point for curves before we uh, run the analysis so the <coughs> we uh, select the point at the center of the footing uh, which is 0 0 by z by uh, z is 10 meters so this is uh, center of the plate and we update it and we calculate uh, uh, the problem so we will uh, wait as a previous example until uh, this uh, displacement reaches about uh, 60 centimeters uh, to uh, compare uh, these load settlement curves uh, with the previous example We can see like that, like the previous example, uh, the settlement is about uh, 0 0.64 to 8 meter, and we want to uh, extract the load settlement curve and compare to the load uh, settlement curve from a previous example. So we click uh, here, new. So in the x direction we choose uh, the m stage and in y direction we choose 
the total displacement in the z direction and we remove the data from uh, first and the second okay so before we uh, compare uh, the load settlement curve from uh, this uh, example with the previous uh, example I will access again and tables we will convert these results uh, to the excel uh, sheet from the previous example so we copy it here and I will delete these ones I don't need the first and the second column also and uh, we do it like this and we will add we will add right now uh, the second load curves uh, we can see how the uh, water table affected uh, the load settlement curve uh, from uh, uh, plexus so this is also plexus 3d but the water table is uh, considered in uh, this case okay in the y direction we have the settlement okay 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 so i will delete uh, from uh, this uh, ultimate bearing capacity from a uh, theoretical bearing capacity equation we can see that when uh, the water is added uh, to the uh, borehole we see that uh, the ultimate bearing capacity also uh, decreased uh, similar uh, to the uh, theoretical bearing capacity equations for example we can see that uh, this will be the ultimate bearing capacity uh, under uh, when water table is added to the borehole sorry we can see like that the ultimate bearing capacity from uh, previous was about uh, 940 actually and in this example it is about uh, 900 uh, kilopascal we see that uh, there is uh, uh, we can uh, see like that ultimate bearing capacity in here we can say no water it is about uh, 940 and with water 0.5 meter below the uh, foundation the ultimate bearing capacity is about uh, it is approximately about 900 we, yes we can see that uh, with addition uh, of water table uh, to the borehole we see that the ultimate bearing capacity of the foundation decreased uh, because of the effective stress uh, under uh, the foundation this was for uh, this lesson and thank you for watching see you in the next lesson